sorry. Didn't see you there. You know, it's a phone booth. Superman, get it? Kids, listen to this. Yes, a phone in a booth. It's in Ridgeway, your town. Stay with us, we're coming back. Hello, Mom. Hey guys, uh, we this morning are in your town, Britain Friendy. That is, of course, if you live in Ridgeway or have been through Ridgeway, Ridgeway South Carolina, just on the uh, cusp of Fairfield County next to Blythewood. And uh, what an awesome little town. We spent the day here yesterday, and this morning we're back at one of my favorite restaurants in town, the Old Station. Is that correct? That's right. Tim and Phyllis Dinkins, you all uh, have the Old Station. Now, of course, we pulled up here, and outside there's gas pumps with, with tables outside, which I think is kind of cool. That's right. We block them off with tables and eight bales. <laughs> That's what I blog off my email. Instead of paying four bucks a gallon for gas, you know, breakfast. Well, see, the old price is 185 on the tanks. So we can't sell it like that. So. <laughs> That's right. So tell me about the old station. You guys actually opened this place in uh, in the spring, right? In March. Okay. March the 12th of this year. All right. So so why'd y'all decide? You know what? Hey, let's take let's take an old gas station and start slinging some awesome food. By the way, how's the food? Food is fantastic. Awesome. There it is. They're, they're busy eating. That's we all right. We didn't pay them to say that. Did you? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, so what's the vision behind this place? Well. Just to keep it, see how far it'll grow. Mm -hmm. Come down for a while. Uh, originally from down this way, been living up in West North Carolina about 10, 12 years now. Sure. But I uh, got family down here, grandkids, and right. her mom and them. So mom and them. Wanted, as long as the mom and them are down here, we're all good. Home, so. <laughs> <laughs> no, and I, I love the feel, guys. I mean, it's a, it's a small little shop, but the feel is just um, like home. I, I guess it's no other way to say it. Ridgeway, and I've, I, the whole time we were here the other day, and, and I've been a couple of days before, it feels like home. It's a very nice and small town feel, even though it's 2014. Right, where everybody knows your name and... Oh, Sometimes that ain't good, right? Ain't good. <laughs> and, all and all your business, but that's okay, we got good business. Yeah, <laughs> so, do, good so when you're in Ridgeway and you come by the old station, you cannot miss it, it's on the other side of the tracks. Uh, what's the first thing they need to order when they come to see you guys? Coffee. Be, all right, yeah, that was me, uh, that's for grits. sure. We got Speaking biscuits, of that. grits, and gravy. There we go. Tell me about that bowl. Tell me about that, that grits bowl. Oh, we Coffee. have um, a grit bowl that's... Um, Filled with, you can get cheese and eggs and right. uh, gravy. And just toss it all in? Toss it all in there. Oh, I love it. Really good. All right, this is the old station here in Ridgeway. We're going to spend the morning here in Ridgeway. We're going to meet some of the shop owners. Of course, the mayor. We're going to wake the mayor up. She lives over in Main Street. We're going to knock her on our door and tell her to get out of bed and That's right. come hang out with us I this morning as well. I did tell you, though, we have uh, a visitor coming on December the 5th. All Who's the that? children are welcome to come and see Santa. <gasps> get out of town. The old jelly old fat me is coming early to Ridgeway. I knew something special about this town was happening. And the week of Thanksgiving, we'll be selling Christmas trees and wreaths and all that there you go. stuff right here on and the corner. fresh produce. Right on the corner. Just like that, guys. It's all right here live in Ridgeway. We are in your town all morning long. Stay with us. Britt, Friendy, I'll bring you back some grits because these are some of the best I've had. Of course, if your town is Ridgeway, South Carolina, it's on the uh, cusp of Fairfield County. By Blythewood, as you're headed up the northeast, they're headed up 77 Charlotte Way anyway. And we're here at the, the new town hall. There's an old town hall we'll talk about a little later on. This building was created in 1854. It's uh, Dan here is going to get his phone, but it was actually also for just a minute the home of the Civil War, the actual headquarters for the Confederate efforts in the Civil War, mm -hmm. 1854. Dan's family and the Rough General Store has been Roof. in business even longer than that. Roof, Roof has been in business even longer than that. Exactly. So when your when your folks or your family get start the General Store, the, the Roof family. The, the General original store. store was built in 1840. Right, 1840. Good gracious, that building 40. is still standing right still here standing. over on Palmer Street in, yes. in Ridgeway as well. When there was nothing else there, it looked like a little house on the prairie. Just just the one thing, it was like just the dirt roads and all that stuff, Exactly. Right? All right, so now you're actually, you moved over in what, 1900 or so, you moved, moved over, over to the new building? 15, 20 feet, and, <laughs> and uh, they built a two-story brick building in 1901, so we're right. presently in the new building and we're still there. Again, the new building being 1901, there it is. What kind of stuff do you have at your general store? I mean, I, we took a walk yesterday, you've seen, you've seen the video now, guys, but... We sell overall, we sell fried peanuts, we sell nails <laughs> by the each and bolts by the each and we sell uh, feed, seed, hardware, kerosene right. heaters. We have a drive up window. People pull up and either call from their cell phone or blow the horn and we wait on them and pay their bills or whatever they want. We are full service. Operation. I love it. I love it. When you come into Palmer Street here in uh, Ridgeway, you got to stop by, see Dan Ruff. At the new roof. Wait a minute. Roof. 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 Why do I keep doing that roof and the roof general <laughs> store on Palmer Street in Ridgeway? Guys, we are in your town. We put links to everything you're going to see here this morning, but check out this great small town here, Ridgeway, South Carolina. Uh, Mr. Roof, I got it right. There you go. Dan the man. Stay with us. We're coming Thank back you. from Ridgeway in your town. <laughs> 
downtown Ridgeway, South Carolina, just on the cusp of Fairfield County near Blythewood, coming up 77 towards Charlotte. And this town of Ridgeway is 360 population. That's on a good day. Well, how do you protect and serve a population of 360 versus, say, maybe the 100,000 in Columbia? Officer Antonio Addison is here to tell us how you did that. You were kind of the one-man show. I mean, you are, you are the law in this town. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, um, it's good working small-time policing. Um, right. You know everybody. Um, like if a child or something, if a kid get in trouble, Sure. Um, it's less crime because you you know you can take a rat to their parents. And, right. You know. Right. You just bring in Johnny in and go, here you go, take yeah. care of it. Up to the woodshed they go, yeah, right? That's it. And of course, you know, it's funny. Everybody knows everybody. We were here yesterday mm -hmm. and it took about 10 minutes to know the camera crew was in town. So if somebody does something foolish, you probably can head on down to, you can go to the, the general store, you can head over uh, wherever you want in the tea room, and somebody's going to tell you what happened, right? Yep. Yeah, everybody know everybody, so yeah, it's hard to get away with crime in Ridgeway. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah. So, so your model really is, is a lot different than, say, a Columbia City PD. You know, you spend a lot of time on foot, and actually, just kind of the old-fashioned as walking the beat, I guess, be the way, because you actually interact and you go by the stores, and everybody knows your name. You know, I, I watched you this morning. You know, everybody's first name is walking by. Yeah, yeah. That what I do is more of a personal service, more of a com community policing, right. getting around, getting out, talking to the citizens of the town. You know personal service, making sure everybody's all right. Sure, because it is it's more than just putting bad guys in jail and running speeding tickets. Yeah. You know, you've know, got to protect and serve the community. Yes, sir. It's kind of old fashioned. Let's talk real quick about the world's smallest police department. I don't forget that shot, but there's a great pickup truck right behind that. The little building is what I'm talking about. <laughs> that was really the police department from 1940 to 1990. Yes, sir. Um, yep. Yeah, that was the world's smallest police department. <laughs> so it had like one room and a desk, right? Yeah, that's it. And so, and so you, the officer would just kind of do his rounds, come back and sit there and write his report to do whatever he'd have to do. Yeah. The world's smallest police department. Yeah, that's it. The world's smallest police department. I love it. I love it, Officer Addison. And it's a little different, too, because you don't have to have backup either. You want to be careful because you, Fairfield County, I know, gives you backup and they're a great partner up here for law enforcement yes, uh, as, long as, as well as Highway Patrol. But it's a little different, too, when you're by yourself. You really have to have that trust in the community that, that the community is going to help you because sometimes you get in the glue. It's true. Yeah, yeah. That the community is going to, Dan's going to step out of the store and help if, if you get in trouble. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. So, d a whole different way to, to police and look at a small town for sure. Mm -hmm. It's good stuff. Officer, yeah. I need you to be safe out there and keep these people safe. All right, thank All you. All 360 of them for sure, guys. <laughs> we are in your town. I'm going to put links for you to watch.com for in your town and the town of Ridgeway. We're not done yet. We've got more folks to meet this morning as we spend the morning in your town. Stay with us. Brett Friendy. Ooh. Well, guys, this morning we are in your town. That is, of course, if your town is Ridgeway, South Carolina, a little cusp of Fairfield, just up the road a piece from downtown Columbia up I-77. A gorgeous little town, population 360 on a good day in the home of, uh, it's a true story, ladies, it's a true story, home of a uh, general store, a place to get great tea, you can have some breakfast, and of course, if you're looking for a fantastic lunch or dinner, or maybe just a, a toddy on the way home, you can go to the Old Town Hall Restaurant and Pub. Is that correct? That's right. That's correct. That's right. Deb Phelps and Angelina, hope to say it for me. Serena. Serena. Is that like a North Carolina accent you have? A little bit. I'm actually originally from Russia and I live in South Carolina 10 years. Only in South Carolina 10, so right. I knew, I knew it was not from well, South Carolina United for sure. <laughs> so you guys have been open actually for about a week, right? Five days. Five total days. of five days. A business week. Yeah, it's a sixth one. There you right. go. We count. Right. So, you, so you come to Ridgeway, you come to a town of 300 people and granted there's a, a, a big thoroughfare that goes through a lot of foot traffic. Right. Why did you pick this town and go, here, I want this restaurant right here? Well, Mike and my husband and I live at Lake Watery. We have been here for about 10 years, and we used to come here um, when a uh, previous owner had it, and we love the bar. The bar is right. just a beautiful uh, bar. The building's got a wonderful feel, and when, sure. we, when we saw the building was open, we came in and we're like, we could see, we could visualize what we wanted it to look like, and right. um, we want it to be a wonderful place where people can come and join their families and stop and have a nice drink and just enjoy sure. a great atmosphere in our town. And I'm going to tell you, I had lunch, and Shelly and I, we had lunch at your restaurant. You made it for us. Somebody made it for us. <laughs> Thank so you, you. You brought it to us anyway. But uh, it was it was really awesome. And so you're there, you're taking care of business, and I, and I love it. The restaurant is clean. I, there's no other way to, to say it. It's just, it's clean, and it's... It's almost, it's, it's interesting because it's kind of like upscale. You walk in and I feel like I'm in Manhattan. I walk out and I see, and I say Dan Roof store again. I'm like, oh yeah, look, I'm back here in, in Utopia again, right. you know? Yes. We, we have a uh, resident artist from Charleston and she does wonderful artworks. Right. We have that available, um, you know, on consignment as well. And, sure. Um, it's just, we, we wanted the nice color and the feel, but keeping, you know, the structure of the building intact. Sure. All right, what is the one thing on the menu that when somebody comes up here to Ridgeway and so I got to stop by the Old Town restaurant or the old town hall restaurant pub what is the one item that you think they need to order well I'm a, um, 
I'm from Russia, but right. when I came to United States, I'm trying first time shrimp and grits. Shrimp and grits. And I love it. <laughs> so I don't know. That is one of my favorites right now. <laughs> shrimp and grits. Yes. Deb, what about you? I love the filet mignon. It's it's wonderful. It's um, just just a wonderful piece of meat, and, and uh, we have a wonderful chef called um, Michael Cully. He's great. Awesome. And um, on Sunday brunch, the French toast, I, I need to rename it to Week in the Knees French Toast because it, <laughs> it is absolutely fabulous. There you go. I had the club, by the way. It's about that tall. I'm just saying for sure. The Old Town Hell Restaurant Pub right here on Palmer Street, I guess kind of Main Street, in Ridgeway this morning as we're checking out your town. On Good Day Columbia. Stop by, get some food. It's worth it. It'll fill you up, I promise. Stay with us. We're coming back on Good Day Columbia. Good Day Columbia. This, this morning, we are in your town. That is, if your town is Ridgeway, South Carolina, just outside of, uh, just inside of Fairfield County, outside of Blythewood, just up 77 apiece. When you come to town, of course, you can check out uh, Dan's store, the general store. You can get some breakfast and some dinner, but it's never the wrong time for tea, says Miss Carol, who owns Laura's Tea Room. Right. It's never the wrong time. Never the wrong no. time. Now, I did not know this until yesterday when I came by. We met yesterday, and uh, you'll see some video in a, in a couple of seconds here, but tea is an art. It's not just throwing a, a bag into to a microwave oven. I got yelled at yesterday from Miss Carol yeah, for did. that very thing. <laughs> and that's why I brought tea with me this morning to show you the taste when it's brewed properly. So what is the proper way then, Miss Carol, to have high tea? To have high tea? Or just tea in the morning? Tea. Let's just talk tea for a minute, okay? <laughs> tea should be brewed right. um, individually and not in a microwave. Not in a microwave, boil kids. Boil the no. water just to it starts to boil. Okay. All right. You so it starts to whistle a little bit. It starts to whistle. Okay. That's the best sound there is. Right. We always use ours in a pot, and we mm -hmm. always use loose tea. Okay. Um, tea bags are fine, especially on the go. This that I brought this morning is loose tea. It's tea right. of good tidings. It's one of our Christmas teas. Tea of good tidings. Mm -hmm. Well, let's and give I'm that a whirl. Some. Of course, your tea room, this is fantastic, and, and uh, you can make reservations and come see Miss Laura's Tea Room. It is so, so neat. such a neat thing. You wear your hat, you come up, and, and uh, the ladies can come up, and you have to have a lot of time. You cannot come up and have a quick glass of tea with Miss Carol at Laura's no. Tea Room. You can come into our deli and have a cup of tea with just a sandwich, but right. you really need to try high tea. High tea is what we do every day, Tuesday through Saturday, mm -hmm. and we treat you like the royalty that you should be treated. You can even get your picture taken with the, mo the Queen Mother, too. The Queen Mother is there. All right, so hold on. So, I, of course, yes, you cannot, no we, sugar packets here. Let me get a get sugar cube. Here we are. Okay. And no paper cups. Tea no should <laughs> always <laughs> be cups. cups. Is there a proper way? Pinky out? No, pinky in. Pinky in. Yes. You yes. see what you're learning here in Ridgeway yeah. this morning? And you are holding the cup very good. Well, hey, okay. We actually do etiquette classes from time to time if you're on a dead one. Not that you need it. Oh, that <laughs> now she's trying to backtrack. I, I see. Am, I am. Not that you need it or anything. Hello, good morning to you in Ridgeway. <laughs> this is delightful. When are you guys open? Good? We are open Tuesday through Saturday. Right. We take reservations for the tea room from 11 to 1.30. And you need to have a good hour and a half to two hours. Sure. It's three courses of tea food, wonderful tea food. Right. Um, we start you off with a salad and soup. Right now oh, we're doing crazy. apple bisque soup that's just so good. It's like melted apple pie. And I'll tell you, you walk into uh, into the tea room, and it's an old building here. You might, it's a, a town that's been around since the 1800s, and you do really step back just a moment or two in time when you come to Ridgeway. Come have high tea really at Laura's Tea Room. We have links for you at watch.com with Miss Carol. She will teach you what to do. And she wrapped me with a ruler yesterday when I held the cup wrong. She whapped me. She, she <laughs> whapped me, I say, as well. We're going to continue. Continue on this morning. We are in your town in Ridgeway, South Carolina. Coming up, we're going to meet the mayor. Yes, the, the grandmother of all things Ridgeway. That's right. We're happy. Don't to tell have her I called her grandmother. Yeah. <laughs> Stay with us. You know, there's Dan at the general store, Tim and Phyllis over at the old station. You can't forget, of course, about Miss Angelina over at the old uh, town hall restaurant for sure. Miss Carol Laura's Tea Room, just some of the fine folks we've met this morning as we've been in your town in Ridgeway. Actually, your town, Mayor right. Charlene Herring. What an awesome little town you have here. Thank I love you. this place. I, I can tell you, I'm honestly in love with this little town. Great. For sure. What is it about this place? It, you know, I got here, we came yesterday, and it just, it just felt nice. It was almost like you stepped back into it. I really thought Andy Taylor was going to walk down the road. That's right. That's Not going right. to lie. <laughs> but what is it about this town that's just so magnetic? It just draws you in. Well, I think Ridgeway is a very small town, 360 in population. On, on a good day. day. Right, on a good day. <laughs> 
But I think we're big in relationships, mm -hmm. we're big in revitalization, and we're right. big in responsibility. You know, people know each other. You know, since you've been here, the, uh, everybody's honking the horn, sure. waving, you know, how are you doing? People called yesterday when they knew y'all were up here, you know. <laughs> it's just a friendly town. People yeah. really love their community. The quality of life is great here. You know, we don't have right. a big budget, uh, but we have quality of life, and sure. people enjoy living in this town. You know, and I'd like to hear the stories from Officer Addison, the, the town's police officer, who, you know, something, something happens, a sign gets stolen, he goes down the street, and somebody at one of the restaurants knows exactly who did it, and he right. goes and drags his skinny butt home, right? Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, you can have breakfast over at the, uh, the old station, you can have, uh, you know, you can go to the old, uh, the old town hall to have lunch and dinner, uh, and it's like everybody's all connected, and they, they know are. each other, and it just, it feels very cool, people stay right here. You're right. Well, most of the people are related to one another, even though I tell people I'm not related to anybody, so you can say anything and everything, but don't <laughs> talk about somebody else's relative in this town, you know, because <laughs> they right. take that very seriously, you know. This is just a little bit of, a, of what's best about America. You know, sure. small town, relationships, small businesses. Most of our businesses are entrepreneurial in nature. You know, right. anybody who's ever wanted to own a business can come to Ridgeway and try it. And I think that's a wonderful thing in this time when we have big corporations and we have businesses online. You know, this is great about Ridgeway. And you were, you were telling us yesterday as well that, uh, you know, you've got this infrastructure you're building here where the companies come, the rent is low to have it start, yes. start a business. Yes, And people are loyal and they're going to come through and they're going to stop. And it may only be 360 people, but uh, we're seeing traffic go by because it's a major thoroughfare. Right. Every month, population doubles in this town to 600 people who come to shop, <laughs> dine, visit, See and tour. Yeah. Doubles so, to 600, she says. Yeah. That's, <laughs> That's great. We have a traffic jam sometimes. That's right. You have to, yeah. How many stoplights? One? We have one, pla one place to turn right on red. You know you live in Ridgeway when there's one place to turn right on red. Yeah. Everybody knows your name. You call the dogs by their name, too, and they bark and wave their tails. So. I love it. I love it. You come check out the world's smallest police department, of course, restaurants and the shopping as well. Yeah. Say hello to the mayor. Thank you so much Thank for having us. Thank you so much. Thanks it's for been visiting a Ridgeway. lot of fun this great. morning. All right, guys. We are in your town here on Good Day Columbia. Wait till next week. We're going to do it again. But from Ridgeway, please come up and stop in. Right off 77. Say hi to the mayor. Stop by and get a cup of tea if you'd like. High tea with Miss Carol. Stay with us. We're coming back.